Hi Virgo, I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars. Now, what's happening this week is that Mercury, the planet of communication, commerce, and is going retrograde at the end of the week on the 15th. Okay, now Mercury is your ruler, so anything that happens to Mercury has a great effect on you, no matter where it is in the solar chart. Now, right at the moment, it is sitting in your solar 12th house. So it's your area of imagination, hopes, dreams, and wishes. Um, it's, a, it's a very spiritual, intuitive area, or one of the, of the intuitive areas in the world in the solar chart. Now with Mercury retrograde, it's on the 15th right through to August the 8th. This gives you a chance to really fine tune what you want to do and how do you want to do it. So be very conscious of your inner self-talk over this period of time, over this next month for two reasons. One, um, if you listen carefully, then you'll get some messages through on an intuitive level and some of those what Oprah says there's aha moments can come through. Two, you want to be very careful about you know where your mind is, careful about your uh, self-talk. Keep it positive, keep it optimistic. You really cannot afford a negative thought. You want to put out the as much positiveness around you so your energy field is surrounded with positive and not an optimistic energy and you know not the denseness of of negative negativity and a despondent feeling okay so banish that I and mean, even if you aren't where you are at the moment you really need to believe that you will be and that you are heading in the right direction, okay? And you, re you have the power to control your thoughts. So that's one thing that you do have the power to. Now, just on that note, I just like to say that, I, you know, I think that positive thinking is like a habitable response to, I mean, you know, when you ask somebody, how are you? And immediately their habitable response back from just that one little polite phrase tells you really where they are you know and even if things aren't great somebody some people are saying oh they're great you know and some people automatically say oh my goodness you just never guess what happened today blah 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 okay so you want to like sidestep those people at the moment because what you need to do is use the power of this energy because Mercury retrograde gives you a chance to sort of close things off and start afresh so you want to be careful that make sure that you're closing off the right things in your life and listen to your intuition so you know that you know you're heading in the right direction the direction you want to head in okay now there is a, a challenging aspect between the sun which is sitting in your solar 11th house of friendships and associations and saturn sitting in your second house of money and possessions okay so you want to be a little bit careful about how you handle finances um, and investments or communications particularly coming through from um, friends who may not have the right advice for you okay so once again tune into intuition if it doesn't feel right it's probably not right okay I mean you don't have to go back and sort of say hey you know that information told me it's wrong but you you, you need to be able to have the power to um, make up your own decision and you'll get that through one listening to your intuition two doing your own homework and your own groundwork okay so keep that in mind for this week. The other thing that's happening on the 8th of August, apart from uh, Mercury coming out of its retrograde phase, is that Venus will move into your solar 11th house and this will give you the opportunity to sort of magically cross paths with the right people. Okay, it's like you can... Um, just be in the right place at the right time. So that's that's coming up in another month. So right now is a good time to sort of get yourself organized and get positioned in the right place, all right?
Um, have a great week, Virgo. There's lots of movement and activity coming up, particularly for the second part of the year. And um, you still have Venus and Jupiter sitting there in your solar 10th house of career and business. So it's all looking pretty good at the moment. You just need to be a little bit strategic and certainly pay attention to your instincts. Okay. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.